Incredible news coming in right now, and that is I do not have the coronavirus. <laughs> and if you watched yesterday's video, I was in rough shape. But after a lot of supplementing, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, oregano oil, CBD, manuka honey, other things, resting and relaxing, most importantly, taking care of myself, I feel incredible and way better than I did yesterday and I'm ready to take on the day and also all the crazy latest news about the coronavirus the contagious infection that is affecting a lot of people and and, and sadly also showing the worst in some we got really crazy stuff coming up on this YouTube channel and and just as a reminder uh, tr truly I mean after going through the flu a few weeks ago and this little health scare yesterday uh, a lot of people don't appreciate their health until it's finally taken away from them. Sometimes it's too late to actually do something about it. And this is why, as an independent media organization, we will always continue to fight for clean water, for clean food, air, and of course, no war. Since, you know, the government selling all of those things to the highest bidder and corrupting all of those things, um, is, is usually not cool. Like, yeah. That, that shouldn't be okay. Bureaucratic, big, nanny state government officials can't even figure out how to deal and interact with dogs, including some billionaire plutocrats like Michael Bloomberg, literally, uh, trying to shake a dog's mouth. Yeah, and you entrust these individuals to <laughs> your life? What's wrong with you, you fool? You want to give individuals like that more power over you? What are, what are you thinking? What are you, a special kind of stupid? And, and that is essentially the epitome of, of what we stand for. And, and we could only do this because of your support and because we piss off a lot of people on the left and a lot of people on the right. And because we do that, <laughs> a lot of people are usually angry at us. And uh, really, uh, truly, if, if you like independent media and want it to prevail, support us on wearechange.org forward slash donate. Wearechange.org forward slash donate. The link is in the description below that you click on. And with even just $1 a month, you are allowing independent thought to prevail. Now, of course, jumping into a story that everyone is paying close attention to, and that, of course, is the spread of the coronavirus that we are getting the latest information has just reached Finland, the United Arab Emirates, and has even reached as far as Africa with the country of Sudan reporting six patients with symptoms of the coronavirus that just returned from the city of Wuhan. The virus has even reached the city where, you know, the Chinese have imprisoned one million Uyghur Muslims, which many people speculate is leaving a lot of them like sitting ducks, since, of course, you know, many of them are in tight quarters in detention camp by the Chinese. Yeah, you know, you know, you would think more people would, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, have a particular outcry about. We hear a lot of like social justice warrior cause. We we don't hear a lot about this. <laughs> and, and this is, you know, what you know, an estimated one million people in detention camps in in, in China. You would think the social justice warrior causes would, would have, you know, some kind of priority here between, of course, you know, uh, white males manspreading versus this, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I, there isn't. Now, obviously, this virus is spreading globally, while, of course, transportation still exists with China. And everything is happening under a very top-down, authoritarian, bureaucratic, huge government that barely takes responsibility for their actions and is accused of covering up and lying about a lot of the important aspects surrounding this coronavirus. And since they lie about almost every other aspect, we should expect them to lie about this one as well. It's just common sense. So far, some American airlines like United and American Airlines themselves have decided to suspend some flights to China, but of course are still continuing the routes. The city of Wuhan, where of course the deaths are predominantly happening from this virus, is being reported as some kind of twilight zone, as we're getting videos and photos of a totally abandoned city with, of course, limitations on food supply. All of this as an emergency State Department airplane has just arrived in California 
from Wuhan, the epicenter of this whole viral contagion, with 201 passengers from there who are either citizens or ties to the United States. They were greeted with hazmat suits and will be quarantined at the base for at least 72 hours hours and potentially may be held for 14 days which you know would be the rational thing to do since some doctors say that the disease has an incubation period of 14 days uh but you know who does the, the government uh, doesn't usually act rational sometimes but we'll see how long um, the people are held in this quarantine area. While Chinese citizens in neighboring communities are deciding to take things into their own hands and they are blocking roads and arming themselves with spears in order to prevent residents from Wuhan from escaping into their communities. And yeah, some of the visuals here are, are, are definitely stunning to say the least, even some individuals arming themselves with guns. This guy looks here like he has some uh, ancient kind of sword here in his hand. But obviously with a government that barely tells the truth, a lot of people are taking the situation into their own hands. There's other alleged video coming out reportedly showing residential apartment buildings being barricaded in by government officials with reported cases of the coronavirus happening in, in this particular apartment building. Again, this video hasn't been verified, but these actions wouldn't uh, surprise me, uh, especially coming from uh, the Chinese government. Meanwhile, in Taiwan, there are huge lines for basic resources like face masks, while some uh, news organizations are literally creating maps and, and diagrams of where to sit on an airplane. <laughs> this is ridiculous, <laughs> but this is this is this is where we're at now. Specifically, creating diagrams on where to sit on an airplane to avoid catching. Uh, the coronavirus. Now, we are also finding out that the Chinese government turned away U.S. direct assistance and scientists to help out with this viral infection three times now before, of course, finally succumbing to, you know, the, the, the rational thing to do. And after an extended period of time, there are finally international experts who are coming to aid and assist them in this national crisis that of course will have far-reaching effects not just on people's health but also the economy which we're going to get into in just a little bit now when it comes to irrational decisions like the decisions we're seeing from the chinese government we're also seeing them from some chinese citizens that are alleged of deliberately spitting coughing and trying to spread this virus there's even this reported video showing an individual lifting his mask and coughing on medical staff members that allegedly again it's very hard to, to verify videos from china since of course all the censorship is deleting all of them and it's very difficult to independently verify them but this allegedly came from the weibo province and again it's just very disturbing videos with someone deliberately of course coughing on medical professionals trying to get them sick. Now, with this virus spreading, and according to some, jumping 50% to the number of people affected by this in around 24 hours, it is it is definitely presumable that, that things will get worse from here, with some analysts predicting 100,000 infections in a week. Now, so far, the rest of the world, except for, for China, is... is dealing with this situation and not as hard to hit so so far everything looks like it's under control and that a lot of people are not at risk it's it's important to stay calm here it's important not to fear monger here but it's also important to uh be prepared for anything and to take small rational steps not to spread any disease or virus just like i even talked about yesterday where i had important meetings last night and today but i canceled them because something was obviously wrong that there was a whole bunch of mucus coming out of my huge snozzle and and I, I just didn't want to pass that on to the next person taking simple preventative rational steps and being prepared is something that of course we should all do so don't be a dummy and wash your hands fool because this thing is definitely not going away anytime soon and the effects of it again 
are also going to have an economic impact, which is important to look at, since, of course, there will be a lot less travel to China, a lot less of trade, which some people are fearing could trigger the black swan event of an economic calamity, which is, you know, again, a possibility and something, of course, that we will be taking a close look at. Now, another thing to really consider while looking at this entire picture still unfolding in front of us, still very much undetermined, still very much in the air, figuratively speaking, and it literally is also this latest news from a Harvard scientist that recently came out and said that the coronavirus was, quote, bioengineered most likely as a bioweapon from a new study looking into the genomes of this virus saying that it has a center segment in it a genome encoding a special protein to get into human cells and that most likely this did not happen naturally or randomly this of course goes along with what we've been speaking in previous videos about this topic especially about the bioweapons lab in Wuhan, China. Now, it is also important to note here that individuals like Bill Gates have been working specifically around the issue of vaccines. He has even been raising the alarm bells recently, just months ago, talking about how a disease could kill over 30 million people and how people should prepare for it as if it was a war. It was also his foundation that donates to many medical institutions that was a part of patenting the virus, the coronavirus, which of course has many particular strains to it and versions of it. Now this with, of course, Bill Gates's comments about population control, with some people even calling him an outright eugenicist, has some people concerned and pointing the fingers at him, while some people are saying that he was actually ahead of his time and actually trying to help with this entire situation. And I wanted to leave this video on, on this kind of question. What's your take on Bill Gates and his role in all of this? I would love to hear a very good, lively debate down below in the comment section since of course i know people have very strong opinions about this i am personally staying out of this debate until i get more information and research on this specifically i don't see as anything as conclusive here but i think it is worth debating and, and having a conversation about as my friend luke stokes points out here in, in his latest statement post a quote by f Scott Fitzgerald, which I think is very important, especially right now. And that is, quote, the test of a first-rate intelligence is the ability to hold two opposed ideas in mind at the same time and still retain the ability to function. So yeah, go fight down below. <laughs> I'm curious to see uh, the debate uh, that will happen. And again, I think it's important to look at all sides of the evidence, all sides of information coming out and to really make your determination after fully being able to examine both sides of the argument something of course that we rarely see today this is one of the reasons why we are still here why we're trying to spark some kind of intellectual conversation debate because you know that that, that sometimes is a lot is a lot better than just being regurgitated your own beliefs right back at your face hole and this is why we're still here, and this is why you're still watching, and this is why I thank you guys for allowing us to be here, allowing us to do these videos, to do this research, to do this homework, to have this conversation, and it wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you. And this is why I love you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned for more.